Really, Cam Harris? Really? You are going to teach me how to be a man? You are going to teach me, Uncle KC, what it means to be masculine? I know you're a woman of limited talent. I know you got the ability to direct and lead the cackling choir. I know you got the ability to absolutely destroy everything that you touch. But last I checked, Cam Harris is not qualified to teach masculinity since, you know, she's never been a dude. And it's not like she learned masculinity from her hubby Dougie, dig. And she damn sure didn't learn masculinity from Timmy Walls. Call me old-fashioned if you want, but I just refuse to take advice on manhood from a dude that uses all of his loose change at the Tampax machine. You know, when you're a child, when you're a young man growing up, you naturally look up to other men. If you have an active father in your life, that's who you follow. That's who you look to for advice on how to become a man. If you don't have an active father, maybe you look up to your uncle, your cousin, or maybe you do the same thing that a lot of other kids do and you look up to people that you see on TV. Point is... When you're growing up, you are naturally looking to someone for guidance. You're looking to someone to show you how to become a man. If you're a young man in America today, I have got some great news for you. If you don't have a father in your life, that's okay. If you don't have a strong male role model, that's okay. Because Uncle KC brings you good tidings of woke joy. Uncle KC has found the perfect role model for you. He's found the perfect teacher, someone who will give you a step-by-step guide on how to become a man. Well, KC, are you talking about yourself? Um, no. You don't want to idolize me. According to deacons at Woke United Methodist, I have been diagnosed with a terminal case of toxic masculinity, a horrible, horrible disease that is designed to attract beautiful women. Ooh, girls. Timmy Walls told me girls have cooties. Yeah, kids, Uncle Timmy is right. The good news, though, for all my young men out there, I have found the perfect role model for you. Yesterday, she uploaded an excellent video called How to Become a Man in 90 Seconds. If you're looking for guidance, if you're searching for help on how to become a modern man, look no further than our Lord and Risen Queen, Cackling Cam Harris. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Let's go ahead and get to the sponsor for today's video, a company that promotes a toxically masculine orange man that you definitely don't want to grow up to be like. Billionaire status, life of luxury, married to a beautiful woman, kids and grandchildren that are healthy and successful, owner of multiple successful businesses, a former president, and hopefully the soon-to-be president. I mean, who wants to grow up and be like that? Let's get to my good friends at Trump Trends. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's kind of a big election coming up next month. Over the summer, I'm sure you noticed thousands and thousands of Trump supporters wearing clothes showing their support of Donald Trump, while people who support Cam Harris... They're hiding because showing your support for Cam Harris, that could lead to your business crashing. If you don't believe me, just go ask Netflix. If you're going to show your support for Donald Trump, you might as well do it in style by purchasing all your Trump gear from Trump Trends. Trump Trends is your one-stop shop for everything Donald Trump. They've got your typical MAGA hats. They have the badass shoes that you see here behind me. And every pair of shoes at Trump Trends, it's handcrafted and it acts as a repellent guaranteed to keep all the woke wanker spankers away from you. Take a look at these right here. These are one of my favorites. They've got the Trumper right after the attempt on his life in Butler, Pennsylvania. Looks like he is right in the midst of telling everyone to keep fighting. Trump Trends has everything you need to show your support for the Trumper and look damn good while doing so. And the best part is, when you purchase something from Trump Trends, a portion of your purchase, it goes directly to the campaign of Donald Trump. 
Join over 30,000 satisfied customers by clicking the link in the description below. Use my promo code BTL10, BTL10. Save 10% off your first purchase with Trump Trends. Like I've been telling you guys for weeks now, Cam Harris is in a full-blown panic. I have this feeling that deacons at Woke United Methodist have given up on Cam Harris. I have a feeling that the deacons believe Cam has no chance of winning this election. To be honest with you, I think they would have been better off sticking with Johnny B. Biden. I know I give pretend Dr. Jill Biden a hard time, but at least I don't have to worry about the pretend doctor acting like a damn fool. Have you seen Timmy Wall's wife? <laughs> Although the deacons might be giving up on cackling Cam, that does not mean the risen queen is throwing in her Burger King crown. Commander Cam ain't giving up. Since the commander is struggling to appeal to minorities, since she is struggling to appeal to black men, since she is struggling to appeal to women. Hell, Cam Harris is struggling to appeal to everyone. She's like a repellent. She's like a dump diver in the WNBA. Put Cam Harris in an arena and the asses and seats magically disappear. But since Cam is struggling to appeal to anyone capable of breathing without an air compressor, she decided to make an attempt to appeal to the head of household. Cam tried to reach the decision maker. She tried to reach out to the patriarchs, the leader of the family. Which is ironic when you think about it, since the woke media, they have spent decades trying to convince you that men aren't leaders. In her final act of desperation, Cam Harris is reaching out to men begging for their vote. I'll be honest with you. It's a smart strategy from Cam Harris. If she can convince men to vote for her, maybe they can convince their wives to do the same thing. There's just one problem, though, for Commander Cam. One small problem. Now, I can't speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself. Putting politics aside... It would be damn near impossible for me to vote for a presidential candidate who selected a vice president who believes that men menstruate. It would be impossible for me to vote for a candidate who selected a vice president that believes men can get pregnant. Naturally, I would question their judgment. If this is your judgment when selecting a vice president, how can I trust your judgment when it comes to things like, oh, I don't know, war? And look, I would feel the exact same way about Donald Trump if J.D. Vance was promoting Tampax for dudes. Thankfully, though, J.D. Vance is a traditionalist. If he designed the men's restroom, the only accessories in the stalls would be the toilet paper. But just like the rest of her campaign, this latest ad from Cam Harris, it reeks of inauthenticity. Watch it for yourself. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Neat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500 and braid the shit out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to support women. Um, I thought deacons at Woke United Methodist hated stereotypes. That entire commercial, it was filled with stereotypes of what the media would call toxic masculinity. I'm a man, I drink whiskey. I'm a man, I eat car engines. I'm a man, hear me roar. Woof, woof, woof. That commercial was another example of the double standards with Cam Harris. This is why she is called a chameleon. Cam's only strategy has been to fit in with whatever crowd she's trying to appeal to in the moment, which makes Cam Harris 100% inauthentic. She has tried to spin the narrative that real men support women, which is true, that's true. But Cam, 
She is using the same tactics that the mainstream media tries to use. She is sandwiching the lie between the truth. What is the easiest way to get someone to believe a lie? Put the lie between two truths. Yes, real men support women, but that does not mean men support Cam Harris. How can men support a candidate that's lowering their wages by allowing millions of other dudes to cross the border? How can men support a candidate who is putting their women, their wives, their girlfriends, their daughters at risk? How can men support a candidate that is trying to redefine masculinity? How can men support a candidate who advocated for cashless bail? How can men support a candidate who pushed to defund the police? How can men support a candidate that makes their role as men extremely difficult? Think about it. Men are supposed to provide and protect their family. Thanks to Cam Harris, wages are down. And not only are men having to deal with domestic criminals who commit crimes and are released, men are now having to worry about international criminals. So why in the hell would men vote for a candidate that is making their life more difficult? I completely understand now why our former fearless leader Johnny B. Biden kept Cam Harris hidden. I completely understand why she was working undercover the first two months of her campaign. You can't put Cam Harris behind a microphone without pre-approved questions and scripted answers. You can't rely on Cam Harris to make the right decision. This has been one of the worst, if not the worst, presidential campaign that I have ever seen. Look at the history of Democratic candidates in my lifetime, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, even the ones before my life, like JFK. You know what they all had in common? They were all relatable. They had charisma. Bill Clinton was so charismatic, he could convince you to stick your hand in a miter saw and you would think it was your idea. Compare Billy and Barry to what Democrats have presented the last four years. Compare Billy and Barry to Johnny and Cammy. We are three weeks away from the election and Cam Harris is showing her desperation. Eventually, she is going to come to the same realization that the rest of us came to long ago. Cam Harris ain't got a chance. But give me your thoughts on this. Cam Harris tries to appeal to men with one of the worst commercials ever produced. It was... I mean, it was just bad. Has this been the worst presidential campaign of your lifetime I can't think of another one that's been worse. I know some of you guys are older than me in the audience. Maybe you can think of one, but this campaign from Cam Harris, it has been one disaster after another. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, and I'll see you guys later.